Out reports and many people on the Central Coast have connections to Thousand Oaks. KSBY's Alexa Bertola is live at Cal Poly. And Alexa, you spoke with students from the Thousand Oaks area who often went to the Borderline Bar and Grill. That's right, Richard. The two Cal Poly students I spoke with describe Borderline Bar and Grill as a fun place to go, especially on Wednesday nights. Learning of the tragedy hits close to home for them in more ways than one. This Snapchat video was filmed in August at Borderline Bar and Grill. Cal Poly student Kayla Berenson was behind the camera enjoying college country night with friends. When you're there over the summer, the line is out the door to get in. Um, it's just a very like happy place. Berenson used to live in the area. She would go to Borderline every week. It was just a place where I could go and dance and like have fun and um, listen to country music and just have a good time. And now it's just so sad to like know that other people were there trying to do the same thing and they couldn't do that. We got multiple people down. We need a lot of ambulance. I saw someone posted about it and I immediately called my mom and just was like shaking and crying because like if it, if it had happened over the summer, it could have easily been me. Another Cal Poly student and KSBY intern, Callan Hobman, is from Thousand Oaks. Well, you can't even begin to grasp that it happened. She goes to Borderline whenever she's visiting home. She found out about the deadly shooting this morning from her mom. I couldn't believe, like I had to read her text like five times because I didn't quite like grasp what she was saying. Hobman says she's been to Borderline so many times over the past five years, it's scary to think she could have been there too. It almost feels numb in a way, like I almost don't know how to feel. Everyone she knew was there last night is okay. To imagine that like our little bubble, we call it a bubble because it's so small, that is now a national tragedy is unreal. And Kayla says that she has several other friends from Cal Poly who are also from Thousand Oaks. It's unclear at this hour if they knew any of those victims. For now, live and local in San Luis Obispo, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News.